you'll only have a split second in the moment to make decisions about life or death. Hi everyone, this is John with today's Active Self Protection Lesson. Today's lesson comes to us from Oconee, Georgia, and it's an officer-involved shooting that started off as a domestic violence call, and we're gonna see here how incredibly fast everything is gonna go down. It's gonna teach us how little time we have in that deadly force moment to make decisions. We're gonna listen in on the officer's body cams, then we'll come back and learn some lessons. Sheriff's office. Go ahead. John. All right, show me. Get back! Get back. Put the oh. Drop the fucking gun! Oh, fuck! Oh, God, you're behind! Drop it! Drop it! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Get your hands up! Hands up! Yep, don't fucking point a gun at us. Boy, did that go wrong in a hurry. So these officers have been called here for a domestic disturbance. We can see them here using their flashlight to illuminate the area. This is the way that you use a pistol mounted light. You use the spill from it to see everything that's going on around you. And you can hear there that things are going wrong. They've been using their voice, talking about sheriff's office. They, you know, hey, we need to talk to you. And this is what you do, you know, when you're trying to get into an area that it might be dark. Right here, I stop it because this is where you actually heard, if you were listening before, the perpetrator chamber around in his firearm. So situational awareness is not just your eyes, it's your ears as well. So that's why things get crazy. And here you see both of them working together. Now you might not have a very clean sight picture when things go crazy, especially if you have a partner with you, whether you're an officer or a CCW holder. And now this is how fast it goes down. He pulls that gun up here and now they're getting those shots on target, but that's as little time as you have. Just a split second to make that decision in the moment that says, nope, this is bad. Here come shots on target. Now look at what happens with the the pistol mounted lights there. This is how fast all the light changes and this is why I tell you to take some low light training, to get some training with a flashlight in your hand or on your pistol so that you know what's going on. Lastly here, they have to continue to assess their threat and they do follow up with that. You know, the guy's hands in the air, let me see your hands because just because you've shot the threat doesn't mean it's over. These officers did a really fantastic job here of ending the threat, continuing to talk with this guy. They covered their ASP. <laughs> 